Hi everyone, it's Leslie from Marvelous Art Studios. I have finished my newest version of the Fresh as a Daisy pattern with the Moody Blues and the purple cone flowers that I'm calling it Moody Blues anyway. And I thought I would give you a little close-up of the quilting. And this is just real soft swirls, some little lines of like wind blowing maybe or just a breeze at night was kind of what I was thinking about. And then I decided after it was all quilted to add a few more things at the bottom. Um, I just like the idea of extending the edge of it into the border. Um, I think it would be fun to just kind of establish a dark, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but a dark, not really a background, but a foreground is what I'm, the word I'm looking for. And I like that it creates this kind of interesting shadowy feel at the bottom and makes you want to take a closer look. And so that's, that's what I was doing. I mean, that's where I was thinking it. You might not feel the same way, but you know, I always tell my students, it's really about what you like, not what I like. And every time I do it, I see different things. I like to try newer techniques, but I'm in love with the painting on this piece. I think it's really um, very free, <laughs> very unusual in a way, but also just, you know, not hard to do. It's, it's really just adding a touch that only you can add, and that's really the special thing about adding the fabric paint to the background. The next time I do one, I'm gonna piece the whole thing first and um, add some more paint splatters and things like that, and then I'm gonna add the flowers on top of it, or maybe I'll put splatters on top. I'm experimenting as I think. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a nice rainy day and it's a good day to show the right light too on this piece i think the lighting is is a little more appropriate for the tone that it is it's still very similar thanks for watching have a great one